The song is Nashukuru, and we'd just like to find out from you via social media. Let us know what you think of the song, if you're spinning it, or it's one of those that you're like, uh, uh, that's not quite his uh, style. But anyway, let me hear from you. Uh, for me, I think in terms of his style, it's a change, because uh, he's normally very hyper, very up and about, but this is kind of laid back. But anyway, Solo, let's start with you. Um, uh, Papa Dennis, as we know him, um, he has a way of... Uh, excelling in in everything that he does and uh, from humble beginnings to what he's been doing i think this one is uh, quite different from what we are used to seeing him dancing and all that stuff um uh, nashukuru a good song quite kind of has mellow, a good feel <coughs> had a good feel and uh, the video never let down for papa that is yeah end. definitely well done and uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, he had a budget for it yes he, no he always has a budget <laughs> <laughs> he always has a budget he always has a budget <laughs> yeah, but this one uh, very good scenes very good shots and uh, very mellow and uh, Kind of inspiring. So okay, Stevens, your stage. thoughts on this? Um, I, I've never seen this side of Papa Denis, so that means the young man is, is simply telling us he's, he can be versatile. Uh, like we said some minutes ago, we, we're used to this guy jumping, dancing. Mm. Uh, video vixens, all of his, um, his, his videos are uh, choppers and expensive cars and all that. But now this, this video gives us an, a new Papa Denis or a different Papa Denis where he's laid back. Nobody in the scene apart from him. Mm -hmm. uh, just the backgrounds Some of good sceneries scenery. and stuff. Yeah. And, and if you listen to the message he's given, it's not, it's not those excite me things. It's just saying, I'm thanking God, which was the original gospel, as, mm -hmm. we'd, as we'd put it. Right. And so away in South Africa right now, uh, oh. shooting another video, probably my take will come back. <laughs> <laughs> this one is different. I'd I would buy this just for laid laid back message. That says, nice background music that uh, has a message to yeah, it. You, Quinta, you know, I was, I was listening. Coincidentally, I was listening to this music on my way here this morning, oh. and I didn't even know it. it. I did not know it was Papa Dennis mm. behind it because it is calm, mm. collected, and I was moved. I didn't even notice traffic. You almost got into a point. Yes, of and for yeah. me, what I, yeah, no, of course I said yes. a couple of amends, and then I, I can assure you, many um, churches are going to pick this as their worship song. It's deep. And you know, in the past, uh, we've been accused of being lyrically malnourished. Mm. And this one is This calm. one is rich. I mean, yes, it's a, it's, it's a genuine gospel song. There is, we don't see a lot, a lot of, there's no drama in the background. Mm. There are no video vixens. There are no expensive vehicles. It is just somebody's humble and prayer. And I guess the nature God. around him at that point in time, yes. that scenery is purely just uh, what you'd call divine. Yes, I love this, Papa Denise. Mm. Yeah, I, I love this more. You don't like that one? Uh, <laughs> this is memorable for me. If you ask it's, me it's about... A, it's, it's more something that you'd keep for yourself. Yes, the other yes. ones are very hype, very... Yeah. Uh, whatever, but but yeah. I guess uh, well we'll wait and see what the rest have to say about that. Uh, but sticking with music, we also have uh, a celebrity that got married not too long ago, Ali Kiba. Right. And uh, I know the Pulse was uh, on top of things as usual, mm -hmm. and you also already have some exclusive pictures in the Pulse. So please do get yourself a copy of the Pulse. But Stevens, give us just a little bit of a feel of the wedding. As a matter of fact, our uh, Mike, our uh, wedding <laughs> happens yesterday, uh, seven fifteen. Uh, goes on until late last night. Goes until today morning. And the pictures and, are there. And uh, mm -hmm. the pictures and everything is, is there. And Pulse has it as a cover story for mm -hmm. us today. And so it's for guys to grab the Pulse and uh, just see what's happening mm -hmm. and what has been happening since yesterday, 7.30, when Alikiba decided I'm marrying this Kenyan girl from coast. And Mike, it's been a rumor uh, throughout the last uh, one month, two months, uh, that uh, Alikiba is getting married. Mm -hmm. uh, three weeks ago, Everybody was all of our social media saying this has already happened mm -hmm. and people seem to forget it until yesterday morning when you just see pictures and see oh this is happening and uh, basically it's about you know Ali Kiba be the man he is in music one of the best talented artists we have across uh, in East Africa uh, getting married to this uh, Mombasa girl which or who also seems to be connected with the governor and power and everything that comes with yeah, it. Yeah, there seems to be some now. very powerful So Alikiba becomes a Kenyan now. <laughs> we have a bongo artist with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, Solo, I'm surprised that you didn't... Oh, did you attend no, the wedding? I thought, I thought it was from there. By the way, I wanted to ask Steve O, yeah, what is doing here? Yeah, what is there's doing here? Don't I look like I'm... Don't I look like I'm... There are some exclusive pictures in Nepal, so maybe he was there with his team and managed to fly back. Yes, yes. He's one of the high players who might have been there. Solo. Yeah, but you also... So need to know that um, uh, 
Alikiba has a very good relationship with uh, um, uh, Mombasa Governor, uh, Asan Jo, mm -hmm. who happens to also be one who's very close. Your friend, Ali, was there. Um, uh, Ali Kiza was there, his namesake was also <laughs> there. And, uh, um, uh, our own, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamal. Jamal. Jamal, 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 Jamal was there. Yes. Likes of Akothe were well, well, there Akothe. last yeah. night. Yes, um, last quite, night. Quite a star started and uh, very expensive. Uh, they, they said the, the costs were quite high. 50 yes, million. That's, that's 50 what I've put in million million. Million. Only. Cost. Yes, yes. Mm. But uh, again, a very humble artist that has been there in the industry for a very long time. We have to give um, at least um, a hands down to Ali Kiba. He's been there for um, uh, close to over 10 years yeah. and still giving us a good hit. Um, uh, well, uh, notwithstanding that uh, likes of the Diamond have also been... Uh, um, uh, been acknowledged, uh, acknowledged right now, but uh, Ali Kiba, one of the most respected um, uh, out of scandal kind of artist, mm -hmm. and now we are seeing him uh, tying the knot. Mm -hmm. It's been, uh, it's nothing new because we also had AY from Tanzania just the other oh, day, day. wearing uh, the, 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 the girlfriend from, uh, yeah. from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. um, uh, cross pollination. Uh, cross pollination. <laughs> but uh, what is also interesting now when you look at the Tanzanian industry is. What is happening to Diamond? Because hold up, hold up, Salute. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, 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 no, no, don't, don't spoil Al Kiba's before, <laughs> before, before we get to Diamond, let's celebrate Al Kiba. What I can say is, well, having had an opportunity to be in Tanzania for about four years, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yes, I can assure you that Al Kiba's uh, life is not is not scandalous. He's not very. He's not a very. Uh, he's a very private person in mm. terms of who he's dating. And uh, what he, he does, private, what private. he does is with, with, with his women, very private. Well, occasionally he posts something about his children, but you'd never really know what's really happening. Mm. Which, for me, in as much as we are celebrities and we're in the showbiz, I think you also deserve some form of privacy. However, the other thing is, uh, I don't know what's happening with our Tanzanian women because we have seen. Like uh, Solo is saying, people are going across the border. But the women came out yesterday as the wedding was going on. It's Where have they been? No, it's okay. I'm <laughs> Where just, have they no, been? No, I'm just wondering. Um, well, I won't be surprised if Diamond moved. Well, actually, he had gone to Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> he had gone to yes, Uganda. Yes, he had gone to Uganda, by the way. <laughs> Mike, I, I, I don't like the way you just polish him and just make him look good. Like everything Ooh. about Ali Kiba is just new air like that. I, I, I don't think... Any artist can escape, you know, scandalous it's moments and all that. And, and we saw it yesterday as the wedding is happening and the photos are going online and people are commenting. One of his exes, and mm. you know, comes out and says, "Oh, lol, really? Shit. Who's <laughs> <this> happening?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and and we know even this even this particular wedding and, and marriage happening now. Uh, some months ago. You know, it had issues now. The, the girl was out complaining. By the way, we know she's from USIU, mm. Mm. one of our own ordinary, you know, good girl working at Mombasa government office and all. And there was a post about Ali Kiba and these photos of flying all over. And she was like, I thought we have something going on. Mm. What are all these things I'm, I'm seeing? And you know, Ali Kiba, I call it to his nature, just says, mm, let me let this die slowly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's not like. It's, it's, it's not, it's not and I mean, all we, all, we all have, uh, you know, um, um, skeletons in our closet somehow. Yeah. Uh, but I think what Quinta is saying is that yes. Ali Kiba has managed to keep yes. his skeletons in the relatively closet. Well, in the, relatively Unlike in the some closet. of our Kenyan artists who basically have uh, skeletons all over the place. Uh, but Quinta... <laughs> Let me explain. I tell you what, there was a time uh, Zari Hassan, uh, Diamond Platinum's ex, she was being interviewed and she was complaining that she doesn't have privacy. Then I asked myself, how can you complain of not having privacy, yet you're the one who indulges the public in your private life? Mm -hmm. If you don't want people to know, then keep shut it, it up, private. keep mm -hmm. it in. Now, one thing I have to give you to Ali is the fact that he doesn't, he's not that kind of person who you know, tells the world what he's cooking, who he's dating, where he's going. What kind he, of driving? No, it's not, I mean, he, no. he, he is in social media. And we cannot run away from the fact that there'll always be scandal following people in trouble. And, and let's face it, I think inside. there are some artists who their career is built on controversy. That's true. Exactly. And that just becomes their life. With Ali Kiba, he seems to concentrate more on his music, his talent, and leave it at that, which, which is not a bad way to go. I mean, there are some artists, and I'm sure Solo, you know many, uh, <laughs> who <laughs> their lives are literally just controversy. Some of them are his yeah. friends. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's what I'm saying. He knows many because they, they are known to him. Well, um, uh, <laughs> he probably advises them. <laughs> um, uh, Steven's uh, 
uh, will agree with me that uh, we've actually actually hosted him in Machakos some uh, about two years ago yeah. oh. um, uh, during the December uh, um, uh, New Year fest festival at Machakos Park, People's Park, and uh, it's true that uh, true. for at, an artist of his nature, for that period of time, and he's not a religious artist per se. He's very religious. He's very religious in his Islam, uh, his faith. in his faith, mm. but uh, not a religious artist, talking about he's a, he's a secular artist. And uh, being able to keep his life um, in order, a, a bit private, um, uh, out of scandals. Um, uh, even when we hosted him, he was a guy who just wants to chill in his room, mm. have some coffee, mm. uh, just chill before the show. Very disciplined guy. and. Uh, uh, for over all these years, for someone to maintain and uh, contain his ego, well, we have to give it, up, he, give it up to him. And, yeah. and maybe talking about private and public, uh, um, what's his name, Diamond, yes. uh, basically was uh, having trouble <laughs> in Tanzania. Uh, it seems like uh, Magufuli is not a very big fan of Diamond. Remember not too long ago, uh, yeah. his music was banned uh, because apparently it was too explicit. Uh, but now the guy was arrested. How is that going? Diamond should probably just relocate. Migrate. Yeah, I Maybe think he just, just needs to relocate. <laughs> we we we'll uh, appreciate Diamond here. I think, I think <laughs> he'll only have Ezekiel Mutua to face. <laughs> <laughs> Ezekiel Mutua That's came. another hit task. Ezekiel Mutua can hate on him. But, but what is going on is that, what is coming out clear is that he, he, Diamond seems to have lost favor with the ruling government. The powers that be. Yeah, the powers, powers that would be. Like you're saying, we, we heard him and a number of other artists sometimes ago being interrogated about, you know, things, serious uh, allegations of drugs and, you know, uh, bad music and many other manipulations and stuff. And now we see him uh, in the same position about his music, his photos, his private life. Generally, uh, we know, well, Tanzania has a restrictions in terms of some of these things. And we give respect to you know, the powers, again, that would be for what they stand for. Mm. But as we're saying, Diamond is a guy who can hardly thrive unless there's a little drama, there's a little uh, controversy that is going on. And so if you stop Diamond from being that man that he's always been, then I think you're killing his career. Mm. Uh, and, and, and now that takes us back to why did Diamond really come to launch his album in Kenya instead of launching it in Uganda um, or Tanzania? Right. I mean, Tanzania is a home, home ground. Where is... That, that, that we can call that his primary like our home base, where we could all have gone mm. to see his album launch. And it pokes holes into what is the relationship between Diamond and, and Tanzania and right now. Mm. Are these things genuine? Are, are they interrogating him yeah. simply because he's done something wrong or because of other motives? I think it's time Diamond relocates. But, to but it looks like Kenya is a big hit for quite a number of artists because mm. we also have Rick Ross uh, yeah. coming. Yeah. Uh, the Devolution Conference seems to be one that maybe governors for once are going to be, the, you know, shaky leggy uh, with uh, Kofi Olomide also. Tanga Teke. Yeah. <laughs> Tanga okay. Teke no, uh, coming up. Yeah, we have, we have tried to look at that and uh, very in, interesting sentiments there coming from... Uh, is that in the Pals or the Nairobi? In the Nairobi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're oh, having the... Yes. Okay. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So you, need, you need yeah. to know where to, to get yeah, your entertainment it's, it's uh, very, magazine for the weekend. It's very interesting that um, the governor, Kakamega County Governor Parang, is actually pleading with uh, Matiangi not to pull a miguna miguna on, <laughs> on, a coffee. on coffee. coffee. So yes. long as coffee uh, does not does come and kick and, uh, you and, know, and start dancing coffee at the and airport. And people yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, this is a very tricky one for me, Mike, because uh, I, I am a um, self-imposed woman, women champion. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, having seen what happened the other time, I think it was in 2016, in July, to be precise. And then there was this incident where we saw it, we all saw it, what happened at the airport. Mm -hmm. And Kofi was actually declared persona non grata, so he's not welcome. And there are certain things he needs to do. No, no, no. So I think we need to catch so him some let slack me finish. And, and, let me finish. And accept this. Let me finish. There are certain things he needs to do first before he's welcome. Like what? Apologize. Like do sacrifice. I think. I think. Offer <laughs> <I think, laughs> <I think, laughs> no, 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 no,
they've um, um, attacked uh, uh, pers uh, any private persons, and uh, and uh, we need to. Oh, move I think they, 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 they are human. Solo, we cannot turn a blind eye to that. And I think the dancer is still a dancer for coffee. It doesn't I mean, matter. I mean, she, 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 she's matter. probably going to be here as well. It doesn't uh, matter. No, <laughs> so no, no, no. I, I think blowing this. So uh, maybe Queen, what what is it that you'd recommend then that uh, Coffee Olomide would do? Because if okay. they've resolved at home, Perform some maybe he has been given the rules, rules and regulations and told you know what in Kenya you don't do this. Yes. Uh, and he has said, okay, fine, I will abide by the law. Shouldn't we cut him some slack Bygones and enjoy his music? Bygones. No, I didn't even finish what I was saying. <laughs> My point. Kofi did what he did. I'm sure he, he made amends with, the, with his dancer. And, like I said, he was declared persona non grata in the country. He cannot just walk in. There's a process. The interior quinta, ministry quinta, said, I, 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 let me finish. I, the interior I, ministry I, said there's something he needs to do first before he's, de before he's accepted back in the country. I'm not sure he's done that. So the fact that the governors are coming to plead with the CS, for me, I'm, I took it very personal. By the way, I, uh, I love Kofi. I've always loved Kofi's music, but until that day, I was just like, you don't just assault my, my that woman. I just let no. Quinta be, and because she's still this Woye story now. <laughs> There's tell no us for, me, for me, no. for me, about Kofi Kami is not even about all those things. It's the amount of money that is coming out okay. as him that's being true. paid. That's true. <laughs> and, and that's where artists are right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. try, forget about the take care, take care, and, and 2016. Yeah. For, a guy is flying in uh, first class, Everything A class, all, all expenses paid, all expenses paid, and 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 you know, around 20 something million comes out of somebody's kitchen and is given. It's 23. You know. paid. Well, he's an artist, no, paid, but paid. no, 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 we just did comparisons and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a governor's devolution event conference. or conference yeah. where we think, oh, we have all devolved, so music, our music has also devolved, mm. so let our people also benefit from the same because I think that's what devolution was all about. Mm. And then you bring coffee and giving all this money, and as the little artist who is singing and making his career, making his love out of it. Give him peanuts, as we'd call it. Okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, but I guess that's a valid point, because why yeah. coffee? That would be the question. Why coffee or Lomide for that amount of money? Whereas you could even have maybe five, six artists, local artists. Um, let them benefit from the yeah. same kitty. Actually, that's what Bonnie Halwale said. He's, mm. he's not for coffee coming for this conference. Especially right. at that price. Uh, yeah, especially at that price. But the, the organizers have said um, those were... The governors say, want to be entertained. No, no, no. Forget about that. <laughs> All right. We'll, forget about that. They said... They called their timidity that. There's a governor who, who, who <laughs> has a guy. We'll, we'll need to take yourself. a break. We'll need to take a break and come back and uh, see what uh, we have. I must mention that you guys are looking fantastic. You're dressed by Ashok, I believe. Yes. And he's doing a great job. He's... Uh, uh, a, a fashion designer. Yes. Uh, you're definitely looking dashing. You're hanging out today. with the right people. Uh, you're the I'm right sure people, and you're definitely <laughs> doing the right thing. But uh, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. One of the things that we've lined up for you is also an interview, and we're going to be talking to Nadia and uh, find out uh, how her new song is doing, Si Rahisi. So we'll be finding out Kamasi Rahisi. We'll take that break. We'll be right back.